The opposition party caucus members of the House of Representatives have called for the rejection of state's policing. The chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Petroleum Downstream, Noibu Ikenga, Ugochinuri, during a press briefing in Abuja with members of the House of Representatives press corps, noted that this will amount to anarchy where state governments will misuse these security personnel for their personal gains. The development today, we are the state have uh, override the, uh, the, the ascent the governor and have vetoed and passed the reforms, the local government reforms, is unacceptable to us in the opposition. Actually, what is happening in rivers right now is people are trying to lay the foundation for political crisis and violence that will engulf that state. There is no basis for one to justify that local government chairman that their tenure is about to expire in a matter of weeks, that you cannot make a law that will extend their tenure. Such tenure extension is uh, something that can lead to anarchy is unacceptable and cannot be enforced. And also to go further to also make uh, changes to the local government uh, 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 commission is also unacceptable. And that is why we called you here today to make it clear that purporting to override the governor's veto without sending the law to the governor is a recipe for chaos and lawlessness. Honorable Kenga lamented that there are certain persons who are parading themselves as lawmakers despite losing their seats at the State House of Representatives after resigning from the political party that voted them into power. He however warned that their plot is a deliberate invitation to anarchy and an attempt to sabotage the presidential peace accord. Honorable Ukochinyere described the move as legislative rascality and a coup against democracy that is dead on arrival. He therefore called on President Bola Tinubu to call on party members on the River State House of Assembly to order. If the local government system was functioning and their money was going directly to them, would there have been need for Bandi to take the forest without the local government chairman handling it? All these insecurities and all these economic problems, the markets that have been born, the markets that are not functioning, local government would have fixed it. Those communities that don't have water, local government would have fixed it. Those teachers in primary school that were not being paid, local government would have fixed it. Those teachers that are no longer training our children who are turning into bandits would have been functioning if local government was also functioning. So everybody will agree that the reason why they are disconnecting governance today is that the rural system of administration has been captured by a group of people that were elected as governors. And that has thrown Nigeria into economic crisis, into security crisis, and into a sort of crisis. So if they are honest and serious, the first thing that needs to be done is for these governors to support the ongoing amendment we are bringing to the Constitution to allow local government to be democratically elected, to be autonomous, and receive their money fully. He also called on the Independent National Electoral Commission to immediately conduct by-election for the replacements of the lawmakers who defected from PDP to APC in breach of the Electoral Act and the Nigerian Constitution. Anieti Patrick Ko, TV News, Abuja.